Hello, everyone. I'm Tianchen, and I'm back again to talk about the contemporary challenges the Hongha Honey Rice Terraces are facing. They include threats to the water sources, systems of traditional farming, irrigation, and water distribution. The subtropical primeval forests have always been the sources of water for terraced farming and irrigation. They play a significant role in conserving water sources and the ecosystem of this area. However, to increase local income, farmers have destroyed some parts of the original forests, stripped or cut back the undergrowth, and planted cash crops such as bananas. This kind of action has posed a severe threat to the ecosystem and the water sources of the honey rice terraces. Another challenge to the conservation of honey rice terraces is to maintain the traditional farming system. Traditionally, local farmers created the honey rice terraces as a labor-intensive system. However, throughout China and Asia, farmers now use modern technology in rice cultivation in flat fields. Limited by the systems of irrigation and farming in this area, modern mechanical production methods could not be adopted in the honey rice terraces. Meanwhile, younger people are increasingly willing to live in the cities, and fewer are willing to stay in the villages to maintain the terrace fields. The traditional irrigation system is also facing challenges. The construction of modern channels and pipes with modern materials have damaged historical river channels, ditches, and ponds composing the traditional agricultural irrigation system. Meanwhile, the construction of large-scale water engineering projects is not conducive to the ecological system in the honey rice terraces. These artificial changes have severely impaired the inner balance of the traditional irrigation system for sustaining the cultural landscape. Affected by the boom of tourism and the increase of visitors and short-term inhabitants in the protection areas in the honey rice terraces, there are increasing demands of water for living and production. The ever-growing demands have begun to make the water supply unbalanced in the protection areas. Terraced farming and irrigation as a traditional small-scale, labor-intensive system is not in line with modern needs for green yield and economic development. Innovative strategies regarding farming and managing the rice terraces should be generated to make sure that local farmers and enterprises can both profit sufficiently from sustaining the traditional farming system and culture.